English Short and Senior Dictation, May 1981. Be ready. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Commons. Ladies and gentlemen, I am indeed very happy to take part in this conference. It gave me great pleasure to meet old friends here. When I was invited by the organizers, I felt I should not miss this occasion. As a matter of fact, I was planning to go abroad but I cancelled my trip in order that I might be able to attend the function. There are many problems which require discussion and I do not know where to begin and where to end. In fact, we have many speakers who will deal with every one of them. For my part, I shall take up three of four questions which are important. In the peculiar circumstances in which we are meeting today, our thoughts first go to the increase in violence. We have forgotten peaceful methods and a resort to violence for every little thing. This is not a correct approach. Whatever may be our views in regard to any issue, we must know that by mutual discussion, we can arrive at a satisfactory solution. For instance, take the demand of anyone for anything. There can be no doubt that however big or small the demand may be agitation is unnecessary. Can we not solve the problem peacefully? We belong to a poor country and we have to make it prosperous. This means that we should not destroy our public property and we should preserve it. The people of India are the owners of public property. We have to work hard and build more. At all times, let us remember that violence is not the correct answer to any problem. Freedom has given us opportunities to make our country strong and wealthy. If we do not know how to make the best use of these opportunities, we cannot make progress at all. More and more industries have to be started taking advantage of our resources. In respect of agriculture, we have to increase our production by using modern methods and extending credit facilities to farmers. We are happy to note that banks and cooperative societies are playing a significant part in this record. Everything possible is being done by the government to increase agricultural production. Side by side, industrial production has to be stepped up. This does not mean that everywhere we should have only heavy industries. No one can dream of prosperity for India if rural India is forgotten. So many of our people live only in villages. They are so poor that they need our immediate attention. Take our system of education, we have many achievements to our credit in this field. India today is quite different from what it was 30 years ago. We have a large number of educational institutions all over the country. There is a lot of improvement in the quality of education. As transport facilities have increased, students experience not much difficulty. The teachers are paid well and textbooks and notebooks are available at reasonable prices. Scholarships are given to poor students, but it is the duty of students to study well and become worthy citizens of India. There are, however, some drawbacks in our system of education but we hope that they will be removed very soon by the government. There is now fear of war all over the world, although everybody talks of peace. 
we are living in the midst of tensions whether it is a big country or small country another war will destroy the entire world india stands for peace we have made it clear to all nations all efforts are made by us to avoid war letter from india plywoods limited gandhi nagar hyderabad to aruna temple company nehru nagar madras dear sirs we are in receipt of your letter of the 10th instant for which we thank you in fact we expected your reply much earlier and we were wondering whether our letter was lost in transit our anxiety as you will surely understand was that we should clear our old stocks well in time before the higher prices of our new goods were enforced the cost of production has now gone up as the source of supply of our raw material is affected by strike we are therefore very happy that you have evinced interest in our products and are in a position to place a firm order as you are aware our plywoods are manufactured to international standard and they also carry isi mark at the london trade fair last year we sold out all our exhibits and booked orders to the tune of rupees 5 crores we won an award which adds to the prestige of india and we hope to make a single contribution to the increase in our export earnings as house building activities grow fast in the european countries we feel that our plywoods will be in great demand we have our own lorry transport service which is less costly than rail transport and faster eagerly waiting to be of best service yours faithfully stop